This is the May Tokyo Treat Box. Let's get on with it. So the avocados on there. Happy sixth birthday, Tokyo Treat. Hmm, that is a while. Okay, oh, we got some of these little um, moon, moon rabbit crackers. That was really nice last time. I had one of those before. Got some of these cheese puffs again. Those were nice. Some more cheese flavored. Oh, is it like the umai? It's the like the giant Watsit things only in a different form of crisp. Those are usually nice. These are cheese flavor. <laughs> okay, so those should be good. Let's see. Kyabetsu taro. It's like cabbage flavor. More crispy things. There tends to be a lot more like crispy, snacky things in in here. Corn pottage flavor. Uh, again, these are some corn, corn like watsy cheese pup type flavor things. This is our drink. Kiss choco mint. Huh. Ha. Huh. <laughs> that is not a soda flavor that I would have. Personally, thought it was a good idea, but uh, we'll find out. Oh, well, yeah. This is like, this is like so millennial, it hurts. <laughs> avocado, avocado cream cheese crisps by the look of it. Uh, dear me. Uh, it's, uh, so millennial, it hurts. <laughs> yep. Passport flavors of Pringle, London, <laughs> fish and chips, fish and chips flavored Pringles. That is the Britishest thing I've ever seen, and yet somehow, somehow it's Japanese. <laughs> oh dear. Good. Yes. I will look forward to that. Grape soda flavored uh, cola bottle. Excellent. I love grape soda. Sakura mochi choco. So like chocolate sakura mochi flavored chocolate. It looks like chocolate. Oh, I see. It's it's, it's sakura mochi flavored chocolate. <laughs> yes, that makes sense. Okay. Ooh, taiyaki. These are always nice. I've had a couple of these. What is this? Cream soda flavor. Again, that is not a flavor I would have thought would go, but okay. Fair enough. Melon pan. Something melon pan. Tiny, are they tiny melon pan? I love melon pan. Melon pan are like my favorite thing. They do feel like tiny melon pan. I'm guessing they're little, like, little sweets. Cookie? Yeah, they're, they're little tiny melon pan flavored biscuits. Guess which sweets I'm gonna try. What are these? These look like medication. They're obviously not. Uh, Pucci squared. Pucci Pucci Uranai Choco Ichigo Milk Wachi. So these are fortune telling chocolates, apparently. Um, Strawberry milk flavor. But what do we got on here? Otekake. Karaoke. Asobi. So we're going out. Karaoke. Playing. Rain Eye. Romance. Do you like pick some and then whatever you've. And then what it, whichever ones that you, you picked at random, like you have to do that thing? How does this work? I put those to one side. That is one for the booklet. Suzume no tamago. Suzume no tamago. Something eggs. I do not know Suzume. So that's again one for the booklet, but they look like little crispy things. And we have another umai. What flavor is this one? Pakua. Eh. Mentai Aji. I don't know. I don't know what flavor that is. <laughs> we have some hot cake, which is pancake. Maple syrup. Maple syrup. 
tiny pancakes. Those are nice, those are cute. And our last thing is the Kit Kats. This looks like, like a digestive biscuit flavor. It's like whole, whole wheat. Have a good day. I will. Those look interesting. Okay, I'm gonna get this set up for tasting. Look at all this stuff. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. Okay, so I've picked out the cabbage crisps, the avocado cream cheese crisps. These are the little melon pan biscuits. This is the fish and chip flavor Pringles because I can't be British and not try them. This is the melon soda taiyaki biscuity chocolatey thing. This thing. This is the thing. And these are the these are indeed uh, wheat biscuit flavored Kit Kats. And then I got my choco mint soda over there. I feel like I picked a lot today. It's a very green plate today. So starting with the savory things, let's try the cabbage crisps first. This one doesn't have a lot of flavor on it, but hmm. Try another one. Hmm. Yeah. That's nice. It's like a very mild salt and vinegar flavor to me. Next, let's try the avocado cream cheese. Oh, these are tortilla chips. Yeah, that's nice. I wonder if I have some salsa. I'd love to make nachos with these. They are quite nice on their own, though. Yep, those are quite nice. Yep, good. Nice on their own, but I do kind of want to put all cheese on them and stuff. <laughs> but that's just what I want to do with any tortilla chips, so. These are um, the fish and chip flavored Pringles. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of does. It's sort of like, tastes like fish batter with a tiny hint of vinegar. As a British person, I approve these crisps. On to the sweet things. Let's try the melon pan biscuits. I wasn't expecting them to have stuff in. <laughs> it does actually say on the packet, choco, choco highly cookie, like cookies with chocolate in. So I really should have known better. <laughs> they're, they're nice, but they're not what I was expecting them to be, so I'm a little disappointed. I was expecting them to taste like melon pan, and they don't. So, but they're perfectly fine biscuits. I want to dip them in some milk, I think. So try the Sakura Mochi chocolate. Oh. Oh, it's actually got some mochi in it. <laughs> At least I think it's mochi. That's very nice. It's really nice chocolate. Okay, let's try the Kit Kat next. So this is the wheat biscuit flavored Kit Kat. Yeah. That that is um that is as described. That is a wheat flavored wheat biscuit Kit Kat. It, it's really nice. You know, sometimes you're like, how are you going to pull off this flavor? I don't believe you. And then they do. And you're like, is this witchcraft? How are you doing this? <laughs> yeah, that's that's really nice. That is really nice. So this is the, this is another flavor I, I don't quite believe exists. Uh, this is the melon soda taiyaki wafer thing. It's a pale on the other side. So... Yeah, I don't know how melon soda and chocolate are supposed to go together, but, you know, the, the other stuff I've tried today. They just do, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how they're doing this with chocolate. I, I don't know how it tastes of melon soda, but it's chocolate. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is a fla this isn't this is not a flavor combination I would pick for myself, but it's definitely interesting to try. Like I said, it's it's not bad. Like if you like melon soda, I mean I do like melon soda, but I like it as soda. But if you like chocolate a lot and you you want some melon soda chocolate, then yep, yep, this is for you. I'll put that down. And I'll finish it off after because I still got my soda. And this is another like I feel like this is the how are you doing this flavor combination box? That's, that's what this feels like today. So this is the uh, Choco Mint Soda. 
Apparently this is Japan's first ever chocolate mint flavored soda, so we'll have to take from that what we will. Should it be a thing that is? We'll find out. Okay, I have opened it. No disasters today. The post has been kind. I, I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel. <laughs> uh, it's not bad. It's nice. It's nice soda. I like it, which if you have been watching my videos, you know that I'm not really keen on soda. I'm not tasting much chocolate, and I have to say I'm not tasting a whole lot of mint either. There is a mint flavor. Yeah, I, it's nice, but I, I, but I can't really describe it very well. I think it, it's a sort of soda, if you like, if you do like melon cream soda, you'll like it. It feels like it's a similar taste. It's like if you picked it up and you didn't know what it was, you'd think it was just a different brand of your usual melon cream soda, maybe? But yeah, I like it. I like it. I'm gonna drink it all. Not that I don't always drink these, whether I like them or not. <laughs> and I, yeah, that's it. Again, this this one is still a present, so this is not one that I'm carrying on with once my present runs out, but it is an interesting box. It's good. Yeah, good job, Tokyo Treat.